You would think a rainy day would be the worst time for firefighters to get some training on electric vehicle fires, but that was the case today. Yeah, Jason Colthorpe here with us to walk through the differences and the dangers that firefighters face. There are differences, yeah. right? Yeah. Absolutely, and obviously the big difference, guys, the power source. As one firefighter put it today to me, the gasoline-powered vehicle is like having two sticks of dynamite under your seat when there's a fire. Well, electric vehicles pose a different danger. For about as long as there have been cars, firefighters have been training to handle them when they catch fire. You never know what's going to happen. Fire has different tendencies. You never know. It could be an explosion. Uh, you got a lot of chemicals involved with that car. And as cars change, so does the training. This is a whole different ballgame with the EVs and the electrical cars. Unlike the Bolt that only has one battery, we have six batteries on this truck. <laughs> More EVs on the road is what brings these firefighters to the Detroit training facility Friday. Box. You don't have to take the box off. Someone T-bones this and you can't get to the box. There's a switch here. We can turn that 12-volt system off. We need to see that switch. Yes, sir. Ron Butler was a Detroit firefighter for more than 20 years and now is a battery fire safety consultant. You see the fire helmet on there? Yeah. That's indication to a firefighter that I can indeed cut this. When I cut this, there's a physical separation that basically sends a signal, I'm simplifying things dramatically, to isolate everything, all the energy in the high voltage battery pack. He's brought in vehicle experts to walk first responders through fire scenarios. I'm smashed from here to here. I can't get in there. What I'm going to do? I'm not even talking about a fight. I'm talking about an accident on I-75. How do I get in? Everything from here back to the trailer is smashed. Yeah. So what's my recourse? So it's definitely different, and Butler told me they're already getting data that points to EVs not only being as safe as gas engines in the event of a fire, but safer. And it kind of goes back to the common thinking you would think, less gasoline in, in this vehicle is, means less of a danger for fire. But you can also imagine if you haven't had the training showing up at an electric vehicle fire, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> what, what, yeah. you can't get to those uh, yeah. batteries. But yeah. They still worry about those tires exploding, though, in the event sure. of a fire. Of course, That's yeah. on yeah. both vehicles. Yeah. Okay. Okay.